Fox 5 Sports Miles Garrett is here with more on all of this. Yeah, a lot going on today with the Falcons there. Yeah, they call it Black Monday for a reason, yeah. and this happened three minutes in to Black Monday late last night around midnight. And the Falcons have fired Arthur Smith, as you said, after three losing seasons going 21 and 30. From the start, owner Arthur Blank knew this would be a rebuild process. The team had a lot of money owed to players not even playing for Atlanta anymore, so it took time to sort out the team that they wanted. This was the season where that big jump was supposed to happen with all the defensive additions, new picks on offense, and it ultimately led to the exact same record they've had for the last two years now. Blanken team CEO Rich McKay will now spearhead the search for a coach with some input from general manager Terry Fontenona. There were reports a few weeks back that implied that Arthur Smith was safe barring a late season collapse. That was only further amplified last night and really the last two games this team played. A blowout last night to your rival in the Saints just a week after a blowout against the Bears did not bode well and last night's game was really a microsm of this season. It was the first half with a lot of promise only to collapse at the end. After the game, Coach Smith kept it brief when he was asked about his job security. We, we know the industry we're in. Love doing what I'm doing, but uh, we also I, I told him many a times, I mean, this is the industry we're in. Love coaching. Obviously, that wasn't the result we wanted uh, today. How the season ended. Now, one thing that was important to note on Arthur Smith, he still has the utmost respect, Ron, in that locker room. All-Pro Chris Lindstrom talked about how he's the best coach he's ever had. Future Hall of Famer Calais Campbell, Jesse Bates, a future Pro Bowler this season, all voiced their support for him in the locker room at the end of that Saints game. So now the big question arises for what's next for this team. They'll be picking eighth in the NFL draft for the third year in a row. The last two seasons, it's been offensive players and Bijan Robinson and Drake London. Kyle Pitts the year before that. This year, it's almost certain to be a quarterback if a free agent isn't brought in. As for a new coach, the biggest names in this cycle are slated to be Michigan's Jim Harbaugh, Detroit offensive coordinator Ben Johnson, Houston offensive coordinator Bobby Slowick, and even Bill Belichick, Ron. That name is uh, very familiar <laughs> with some nice. Falcons fans. Absolutely. One thing we know for sure, this offseason is going to be really busy, and you're going to be very busy. Oh, that yes. Is no, sure. We're going to have teams all over Flowery yep. Branch today try to figure it out, but uh, the Falcons do have a lot of talent. Could be a yep. very attractive spot for a new oh, head coach. It's going to be fun to watch to see how what road they take for sure. Miles, Absolutely. thank you so much.